1986. John Pertwee's career spanned 60 years. Among his other characters was the famous children's scarecrow, Wurzel Gummidge. John Pertwee was the third of seven actors to play the BBC's intrepid Time Lord, the series which enthralled generations of children. His contribution was to turn the doctor into a dandy. The baddies were unconvincing, sets and acting shaky. The star loved it. Young John on the left came from a theatrical family, but as he used to recall, his principal at drama school thought he'd never make an actor. Kenneth Barnes told me that I had absolutely no talent of any sort whatsoever in the theatre. <laughs> the judgment was wrong. After wartime service in the real Navy, John Pertwee's talent for comedy secured him 20 years as the chief petty officer in the Navy Lark on radio. As Wurzel Gummidge, the turnip-headed scarecrow, he became a cult figure, just as he had as Doctor Who. Children and fellow actors alike found him delightful. His fame never bothered him. Now to business news. Back at the age of 76. In a showbiz career spanning 60 years, John Pertwee spent four years playing the cult time lord, Doctor Who, the role that made him famous. In Britain, he was also well known for his work on radio. British actor who continued working till the end died in his sleep whilst holidaying in the United States. Next on the Late Night News, two former racing car drivers. John Pertwee has entered a new realm. The man who was one of the most popular manifestations of Doctor Who has died of a heart attack at the age of 76. John Pertwee was the astronomical aristocrat. He was the Time Lord. His unique talents made him a star long before he entered the TARDIS. But as the third Doctor Who, he became the most popular. And after four years of time travelling, he would established himself as something of a cult figure. It's a very complicated thing, time, Joe. Once you've begun tampering with it, the oddest things start happening. John Pertwee's acclaimed version of Doctor Who was a role in stark contrast to the comedy for which he'd been known. Famous Doctor Who has died at the age of 76. He collapsed from a heart attack while holidaying in the United States. Pertwee turned the time-travelling Doctor Who into a dandy, wearing elegant ruffles and velvet suits, making him into a cult figure around the world. Australian astronaut Dr Andy... ...died from a heart attack. He was 76. During his five years as the Time Lord, Pertwee turned the Doctor into a dandy and won millions of television fans. John Pertwee was the third of seven actors to play the BBC's intrepid Time Lord in the series which enthralled generations of children. His contribution was to turn the Doctor into a dandy. The baddies were unconvincing, sets and acting shaky. The star loved it. Young John on the left came from a theatrical family, but as he used to recall, his principal at drama school thought he'd never make an actor. Kenneth Barnes told me that I had absolutely no talent of any sort whatsoever in the theatre. He said, I, 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 I don't think there's any, any point in, in, in you for continuing. The judgment was wrong. After wartime service in the real Navy, John Pertwee's talent for comedy secured him 20 years as the chief petty officer in the Navy Lark on radio. Stop engines, Chief, then slow ahead both. Stop engines, then slow ahead both at sir. Pull ahead both, Chief. Pull ahead both with the utmost gravity of you at sir. There we are. We're singing, eh? Hey, come over here, sit down. As Wurzel Gummidge, the turnip-headed scarecrow, he became a cult figure, just as he had as Doctor Who. Children and fellow actors alike found him delightful.